we will be creating is is titled the company we will be focused on once again is Terence Osborne's gallery some brief history Terence Osborne's gallery was founded in 2017 in uptown New Orleans Louisiana the main purpose of this company is through advertising partnerships through companies such as Canes, the Zulu Organization, the NBA, Nike, Coca-Cola, Hancock & Whitney, Heineken, and the Coupe de Fondry Winery. Now, this new campaign that we will be we will be creating is is titled "Experience the Heartbeat of New Orleans Through Art." The objective is to increase of Terrence Osborne Gallery elevate its presence in the New Orleans community as a destination for art lovers and expand its audience by highlighting its unique style and impact throughout the community. Here's some brief, here's some samples of course we have these are both entitled Lady Nola. Osborne's work mainly features women with them um, very large headpieces simple, similar to how in the Zulu organization they feature large, large headpieces in their costuming and their celebrations. And these are a couple just what is scenarios like say Starly Nola, Starly Nola for example it is basically a play on if New Orleans New Orleans was um, in the Starry Night feature. Now for the campaign strategy we will be using social media to track engagement using the hashtags Terrence Osborne Gallery, Nola Art, Art and Nola Osborne Art. And we'll be using and we'll be collecting content such as behind the scenes, like tours of the gallery, and showing how showing Osborne's creative process and providing how he has grown this much in such a in his in his life and, and throughout his artistic journey. We will be collaborating with local businesses such as cafes, restaurants, hotels, and museums to offer cross promotion where visitors can receive discounts or special offers for visiting both businesses. Or such as like a discount on a piece of art when dining at a local restaurant, and offer packages where tourists can get a special access to the gallery and with the New Orleans tour package. We'll be hosting art and jazz nights where visitors can enjoy live jazz and viewing of Osborne's art, organize art openings, performances, and workshops that tie into large local festivals like Mardi Gras, New Essence Fest, and Jazz Fest. We'll be have, creating a monthly newsletter as well to highlight new arrivals, upcoming events, feature artists, and gallery news. And then using for we'll be using retargeting campaigns, use utilizing ads on social media for people who have interacted with the gallery gallery's website or social media but haven't visited or purchased anything. We'll be using in person and slash virtual events such as gallery walks and live demos. Just base just allowing potential allowing buyers to see and meet the artist and see how his work in person, create virtual events in gallery tours that reach a global audience to those who might not be able to visit New Orleans, and open house and pop-up, host pop-up events that in other cities actually, such as Miami, Atlanta, or, or so mainly specifically Miami and Atlanta. Showcasing Osborne's work and then the buzz outside of New Orleans to, get to create more create more of a a widespread audience and offering art appreciation workshops led by Osborne or other local artists connecting guests with the creative process and inspiring art lovers to purchase their own pieces the storytelling and content marketing basically create a blog or video series publishing um, content featuring the journey of Terrence Osborne as an artist and his connection to New Orleans, tell stories of his inspirations, influences, and how he integrates his local culture into his works. And his community engagement will be lo using lo developing partnerships with local schools and universities for art workshops and classes where Terrence Osborne could offer insights and mentorship in to young aspiring artists. Now, the target audience spans from art enthusiasts, people who appreciate the fine art, and mainly mainly in contemporary original styles to tourists to tourists local art collections and connoisseurs and young professionals who are looking to learn more about this lifestyle and use it as a way to support their own local businesses our campaign messages they ex experience the heartbeat of new orleans through art 
We're discovering the vibrant colors, stories in the soul of New Orleans, the Terrence Osborne Gallery. More than just a collection of paintings, it is a celebration of the city's culture, history, and spirit. Whether you are a local art enthusiast or visiting or a visiting art enthusiast tour, touring the city, touring the city, seeing what seeing what catches your eye, Osborne's work is captivating. It brings it brings new spirit and life to New Orleans. From Mardi Gras to the streets of the French quarters, each one of these new stories is a story for of community, tradition, and creativity. And to experience the connect, we have to connect with the artists and then see where the work comes from within the city, within the piece of the city. This is the campaign time timeline. Launch will be focusing on building social media content, influencer collaboration, and emailing signups, and begin paid ad campaigns to raise awareness about the about the project. Next, we'll be next we'll be launching the first ga virtual gallery tour and introduce new art collections. Now, three months post this launch, the event the entire campaign is spanned throughout the entire the entire calendar year. So we're going to be ho throughout post three months launch. We'll host around March and April. We'll be hosting a local art event or gallery night with special performance, seasonal content with seasonal content creation, expanding partnerships with other local businesses, and then. And then six months post lunch, leading into more the later half, the later part of the year around Chris, around Christmas, I think, around the last few holidays, Halloween, Christmas, and Thanksgiving, we'll be, and we'll be planning larger events for engagement and complete the campaign with at the end of the year with a holiday celebration. Next, we will be for our success management. We will be tracking engagement on social media on the website and also making seeing how much the sales will increase during the during this campaign such as, such as how much certain pieces that will be sold more often versus and versus how and how many new customers are potentially brought into the campaign and then the event attendance measuring the attendance at the gallery at the gallery uh, workshops and also the other pop-up events well, the SWOT analysis, one of the strengths that we have, Terrence Osborne's work is very distinctive. It reflects the vibrant culture of New Orleans and sets the gallery apart from other local and national art galleries. His focus of the city's traditions and celebrations in diverse communities resonates deeply within locals and tourists similarly. Then, but then one of our weaknesses would be we are, required, we are mainly relying on a single artist's reputation. His, even though Osborne's work is very well-renowned, um, the gallery's brand is closely tied to his personal reputation, so this could pose a risk if, to, uh, if Osborne's career or public image faces any sort of setbacks. Now, our opportunities mainly rely on our collaborations and partnerships. The gallery can collab collaborate with other cultural organizations, businesses, and art festivals in New Orleans to broaden its exposure and create promotional, promo promotional campaign, campaign material and partnering, partnering with international art events, museums, that could help increase the visi its visibility. But then our threat would be our physical location. Since it's mainly a, it, it relies on in-person visits, mainly limiting its growth, shifting consumer behavior towards online shopping. And digital experiences means that the gallery could risk losing out on market opportunities if it doesn't adapt soon. Terrence Osborne's gallery has a unique position in the market thanks to its cultural connection to New Orleans and its distinctiveness of Osborne's work. While these are opportunities for expansion, especially in the digital especially digitally and through community partnerships, this by solid by solidifying this though, we this is as a must see opportunity and destination for New Orleans and New Orleans art lovers and beyond.